Oh, wait a minute. I want to know how much it was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. That. I, I want to go I clean up, I too. I keep that under wraps, too. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'll go help clean up. We'll find some more money. <laughs> <laughs> Only not tomorrow, though. Tomorrow we start to get some of the showers coming on through. Much needed rain. Oh, January was dry. Uh, this month has been pretty dry. We'll have a little bit, and I'll tell you just how much you can expect as we go through the days ahead. We'll start off with this great shot from our downtown sky cam. Happy Saturday to you. Hope you're having a great uh, evening. Nice start to the weekend. A little cloudy and cool, but you know what? It's that time of year where we should have this weather. And we've been spoiled with the nicer weather. Right now, the winds out of the southwest is about 7 to almost 14 miles per hour. At times, the gusts earlier were to 20, 25, but not the case right now. All right, so here's what we have right now. A little system down to our south. That's giving us the cloud cover. That is not what's going to give us the rain. The rain itself comes from this system right there, right over uh, Utah now, starting to head down to the south, bringing some cold air with it. So through the day tomorrow, the winds will pick up a little bit more, still a little gusty at times out of the west and northwest. We'll get some light showers, rain amounts from the coast to the valleys and the inland locations, a tenth to half an inch of rain, about half an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch for the mountains. The deserts may be a tenth, and that's going to be through Monday. We get another round of rain from a second storm, and that'll come in on Saturday. First, let's pinpoint exactly what we'll get from this first one. So here we go with rain future cast 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We've got some scattered showers for most of the county, not real heavy. And then this is a 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, a little heavier for the north end of the county. And that's when we'll start to see those amounts add up to about a quarter of an inch between the evening hours through about midnight. So that's Monday at midnight as we start Monday morning. Morning commute a little bit wet, and I think we'll have a couple of light scattered showers throughout the day on Monday, and then after that we clear out. We will have a gusty, uh, rather windy day on Tuesday, but that'll be an onshore wind. So the wind future cast right now for tomorrow coming in out of the west at about uh, 20 miles, 22 even along the coast. That's tomorrow at 1130 and stays right about there, right about 15 to 20, 25 sustained winds. That's Monday through midnight. You can see it's still kind of breezy from that system as it dives in. All right, your lows tonight mostly in the uh, 50s with the cloud cover in place and your highs tomorrow only warming up about 12 to 15 degrees from where we start the day. So we'll bite about 59 La Jolla, 62 Miramar. Not a big change from Encinitas at 61 to 62 Valley Center. The higher elevations mostly in the 40s in Borrego Springs, El Centro 69 and 70. Seven day forecast remaining rather cool for most of this week ahead. 60s, the inland locations staying in the upper 50s and lower 60s. We'll have a couple of showers through Monday. We will get some snow on Monday morning, but it's going to be above 5,500 feet of dusting or so. So most of that will be up to Riverside County. So if people going to Lake Arrowhead or you know, Big Bear, yeah, you'll need the chains for sure Sunday and Monday if you know people coming back. But for us, just well, pretty high up there, 5,500 feet. We need some snowpack in the worst way. In the Sierra, we really do. Oh. If we could just get more of those coming on through, they're all back east. Yeah. We need them here. I don't know what's going to happen this year. I know.